Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes day. Alright, let's get this started. Let's see here. Alright, guy with the taunt is out of the way. Now let's take him out. Take the healer. So I totally forgot to look over Seth Marauder's kit in the last video. It was just, it was getting very late for me, and so I just wanted to push a video out as soon as I could. So, we can take a look at what his kit is real quick. Oh, the fat is almost close to be unlocking. Get our gear. Don't think there's anything else we can buy yet. Can definitely get a Dengar though. Get him unlocked. Good. That's really good, actually. Okay, we can unlock the Spy Starfighter, but we don't have him unlocked. Okay, so there's no Vader still. Alright. Let's do our Cantina fights. We should be able to do this one. Let's use um, Basilea. That'd be good because she's the Jedi lead, so we should be able to give protection to these three Jedi. tear through this fairly quickly. Yeah, having that extra protection, the purple line is really nice. Hey, we can we unlock him too? Perfect. So that was our first ally use. So there's Dengar. So that's a dark side character. I think we need one more or two more dark side characters. That's cool. And TIE Fighter Pilot. So he's three. Perfect. Okay. 
challenges. Ooh, perfect. We'd probably be able to maximize our pilot now. But having a Dengar started, that's really good. Alright, and today, if you remember from my other video, I said that we will be looking for an official guild starting this week, so that's exciting. Hopefully it's not too bad. Because I'm a little bit apprehensive because I'm I'm liking that we have a continuous every time when this finishes we get another pit raid going. Um, and with my experiences of real guilds, um, they're not very consistent. They had to wait for people to um, join and all that. And sometimes there have been weeks that we are not able to do it. So I'm like a little hesitant to actually do it. But I said that we're going to do it, so we are. I try to keep my word as best I can. Let's use the rest of these. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, Galactic War. So we did finish. We have 47 of uh, 50, so that's good. So we just need three more of these runs. We should be golden and wait till 85 to unlock something. But once we get um, 50 Galactic like War, we'll be able to get achievement for Vader, which will be nice. But I'm liking two characters today, it's not too bad. Alright, that's our Galactic War we're on. What events do we have? Nope, still Thrawn, Chimera, two days for those who still haven't gotten them. And it's a Monday, so your ship challenges are available, all of them. Make sure you grab them. Let's see. Um, Let's just run it and see. All oh, right, and I did say I was going to look over Sith Marauder's thing, his kit. So we'll check that out. Mace Windu's ultimate isn't like a attack one, I think it's a more uh, buff. Yeah, that one. Yeah. It's against protection, so I think we should win this fight. Good. 
483. Not too bad. Where's our arena at? 12 seconds. There you go. See, that's why you want to start at arenas first. So when you do all your stuff, you can then hit the squad arenas last. And if your timing is good, you know, get this going. Uh, let's see here. So Sith Marauder and see if we can find another guild to join. Um, and if we can find a guild that I'm happy about, um, I'll stick to starter the starter guild until we find one because um, on my main account I did switch over to a different guild and there are not a lot of guilds that are so open to getting new people in um, most of the guilds now are looking for hardcore players you know that are willing to roll money to get their characters up so it's like eh. Like, eh, I really don't want to spend money on this game. I do like it, but one, this is a free to play playthrough, so we're going to avoid spending money. So we actually might level up tomorrow to 70. That'd be cool. And wasn't there some gear that we were going to get someone? I thought there was some gear that we're gonna get someone. Uh, was it Magma Trooper? Well, he definitely needs to get some gear up. It looks like the oh, Miss out. Again, I'm not going to be using refreshes because I want to save up. So, the, and also the reason we're low is because the, how I like to do it is I like to film in the mornings when everything is all fresh. And so, you know, I have max energy and all that, but since I did it later in the day, almost till, um, like I think three hours before, you know, a new day started, that's why my cantina injury was very low. If for those who've been paying attention and wondering why his energy was low than usual, is because of the filming. So that's why. I, so that's a little bit of that. Let's go down to Marauder and let's look at his kit. Um, basic is deal physical damage to a target enemy and inflicts offense down for two turns. Not too bad. And damage increases. Are great. Deals physical damage to target enemy and grants all allies potency up for two turns. Mm, that's not too bad. If this attack scores a critical hit, it reduces the target's max health by 15%, mm, which cannot be resisted until the end of the encounter. Raid bosses. This attack ignores armor. Whoa. Whoa. I was actually gonna throw this guy inside, but hmm. Okay. Sith Marauder has a 10% defense and 10% health steal for each buff on all characters. Sith Marauder has a 20% critical chance and 2% offense for each buff on all characters. When the enemy uses an ability outside of their own turn, Sith Marauder gains 10% turn meter. Hmm. Huh. So he's, he is crit and health, uh, like buff based person. Interesting. Wow. But this one here, 
raid bosses, does attack ignores armor. He's actually pretty good. He might not be the best character, but still, like, if you put him in a lineup, I think he'll do decently. That's cool. We're not going to level him up, though, because of, uh, we're not really working with the Sith, but still. That's his kit. And let's take a look at Dengar. Basic physical damage to target enemy. If the target is suffering from any debuffs, there is a 45% chance to call an ally to assist. If the assist ally is scoundrel, the attack is guaranteed to be a critical hit. Hmm, nice. So basic causing uh, bounty hunters. So he works very well with bounty hunters. So, um, how many? So it's one ally. Okay. Physical damage to target enemy with a 50% chance to inflict speed down for two turns. If the target has 50% turn meter or more, 75% chance also stuns to target for one turn. Ah, interesting. Deals physical damage to all enemies. Deals physical damage two times to random enemies. Deals 50% less damage if this attack scores at least one critical hit. Inflicts tenacity down for three turns to critically hit targets. This attack cannot be countered. Hmm. So crit based person. Leadership bounty hunter allies have a 20% health steal. In addition, all enemies have negative 30% critical damage. Wow. It's not too bad. Whenever Dengar receives critical hit, he gains stealth for one turn. When Dengar is stealth, enemies cannot gain stealth. Ooh. Counter stealth. Nice. And then this is payout. So basically uh, the bounty hunter mechanic is once you there's a little bar meter. Um, I'm not sh not sure if you, yeah there's a little marker on the enemy's head and if you defeat him, you get um, uh, a bounty like you know you like kill them or you capture them so you got your bounty and then there are payouts. Uh, whenever Dengar receives rewards from a contract, he also gains the following payouts. Dengar gains 25% offense until the end of the battle. Which is, was is a cool mechanic because the bounty hunters recently got a rework and all that. So that's cool. Um, do, 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 do. So yeah, Sith Marauder. I'm really surprised about actually. But what, what were we trying to do? I got a little sidetracked. Oh yeah, guild. Hopefully. Hopefully we find a good guild, boys. Uh, manage. Okay. I really hasn't tend to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's take a look. Let's look at the recommended. Looking for people that play, need to contribute to territory wars and battles. 47 to 50 at 34 mil. Mom, well, what could you hate enough for? Okay. But I don't tell you. It looks like a foreign language and they only have 11 to 50. Okay. Let's do this. We can be number one. Okay, so that looks like a guild trying to start. Like, this one could be potential, but the thing is. Uh, I don't know if they're going they say looking for people that seems a little you know oh anyone but I joined guilds like this and they're like are you willing to bump up your game and yeah and like they were like we actually needed you know, power level or um, GP of something and they didn't put in the description but they told you afterwards and it's like oh okay do or do not there's no try um some guilds they require you to join their discord so this is their thing um i really don't know there are 45 mil so it sounds like higher end characters i pretty good be a fish we're looking for daily players 15 so this this could be a potential one pretty low but we could um, start out but see the thing is 10 of 50 that means their raids are not that not that frequent rating heroic more members for territory wars and sith runs hmm. 
a little bit higher 14 and 50 rating heroic see that character's not even heroic heroic requires seven stars um okay that's someone the guild to help build and grow young padawans welcome esd so they got created about a month ago all right 39 and 50 no message i'm really iffy about you this one is interesting 40 mil and the reason i'm looking at the 40 mil is because it basically sums up um the guild's gp or galactic power and for those who have just joined and not familiar with um your profile is based on galactic power so that means based off all the characters they have at gear level that is basically your power they can contribute to a guild and so um typically a guild with a higher gp means that they're more active players with higher stuff and all that so that's just a little summary um to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not too thrilled with where our choice is right now. This guild is looking for active players, new raids starting every few days, be respectful, have fun. See, maybe. See, the newest are, uh, sorry, active players. This might be potential. Leaders of the force. So we'll look them up later. So leaders of the force. You want active players, five days in activity, limit, small and strong with increasing power. See, they're on 7 mil, so. Discord required, see, that's pretty common. In this, um, English speaking guild must log on every 24 hours. See, logging in and being active isn't a, isn't, isn't a problem for this account, so. It could be... Discuss with everyone with the group, raid heroics. We already saw that. Looking for to enjoy Star Wars. 42. Could be a strong team. See, that seems like a laid back group. Come join, just smiley face. Yeah. Stay active for two mil. Join the raise, please be slightly active. Damage or less for 24 hours or... See, that, that makes me a little, because we can only, at max for the pit raids, do 20k, so this skill won't be for us. We can barely, um, and I think we only do 28,000 for Sith, and if they're doing higher end, then yeah, we're, this is not a guild for us. Easy going guild here, no drama, looking for people that just like the game. Okay. Uh, fun times. Oh, I, f I should have written down that last guild. Casual, hardcore, running heroic, running course. Yeah, we're not even at that level. We're not at that level. How about this? I know I said that we'll be switching over, but I am not seeing a guild. I yeah, I should have written down that guild's name. That looked potentially good. Um, under new management. Hmm. Let's do this. I know I said that we'll be joining a guild today. And I just don't really see a guild. Um, I forgot the name of the one that we said that looks pretty good. 
Uh, unfortunately, I know that watching it, you'll be like, oh, I can easily tell you, but um, how about this? Let's do this. Are you willing to make a deal with me? <laughs> For those who've been starting, um, been with me from day one, I appreciate you for one. Let's, since I wanted to make a, a team effort, you know, since you've been with me from day one, uh, I, uh, I want to have your opinion on this as well. So if you have time, if you have time, let's set a goal for Wednesday. All right. I'm going to set on my calendar, so don't worry. Um, you know, I'm not trying to get out of anything or whatnot, but let's let's set a goal for Wednesday for those who have limited time to play the game. You know, it gives you enough time. But let's, as a group, as a community, figure out what's the best guild that we can join. All right? So by Wednesday, we'll um, hopefully, um, I'll do some research as well. Um, I just want to make sure that we don't have to change what we're doing. The start of the channel is just to take our time, slowly progress. And if a guild is requiring us to, like, you know, have to, we have to pay money to actually s do stuff, then that's not the guild for us. We're trying to take it nice and slow for anybody who's just joining this game and wanting to learn the ropes. So yeah, um, we'll set a goal for Wednesday and we'll go from there. So um, I have a Discord channel, so for, go ahead and link the guilds that you found in um, in the little channel that we have. So let's get that going. <laughs> All right, and I think that should be it for today. So thanks everyone for coming out and watching. It's been fun. Um, unfortunately, I was we were able to find a guild, but I wanted to take the extra time and. Uh, figure out a good one that is that just jumping willy-nilly all right and so we actually unlock two characters which is great uh, marauder and dengar which are pretty decent characters from according to their kits and yeah so check description below for my ally code and my discord channel if you want to join and join in the conversation of which guild will join on wednesday and I have a series on this starting from day one. So yeah, check that out. It's a playlist. Have a good one, everyone. And as always, stay safe out there. Bye.